I'm Mr. Jackson's Chief Meteorologist David Eckert. It's definitely been beach weather for much of the month of February with temperatures soaring into the 80s for much of the month. It almost feels more like May out there and a lot of people have enjoyed the beach conditions over the last several days. However, in the west coast of Florida, they're still dealing with nice weather, but they're also dealing with something that's creating a bit of a problem for the beach and that's red tide. So what exactly is red tide? Well, red tide is an algae bloom that develops here in the Gulf of Mexico and that sometimes kind of lifts its way closer and closer to the beaches. Unfortunately, red tide is very serious because as it develops along the coastline, it does suppress the nutrients. It also suppresses the oxygen, which unfortunately does lead not only to fish kills, but a lot of issues with marine life, including organisms. It kills plants, other types of algae, and unfortunately other types of animals as well right along the coastline. It also produces sometimes a bit of a stench, which can be very problematic for humans as well. And right now, red tide is a huge issue here in pretty much a corridor from the Sarasota area all the way south into parts of the Naples region. And in fact, every dot you see that is red here in this corridor, that is an area where they're reporting high concentrations of red tide. This is now getting to the point where beach activities, especially for people who have respiratory conditions like asthma and COPD, is discouraged because the stench and the issues with the red tide bacteria or the algae itself kind of whiffing in the wind, it's a really, really problematic for some of these beach areas. And unfortunately, red tide is going to be a huge concern in the Gulf. It looks like heading into spring break season during the month of March. This could actually impact tourism down in central or in southern or southwest Florida as well. So red tide is mainly confined to the Gulf of Mexico. It does develop uh, during uh, time periods in the Gulf in parts of South Texas doing, due to this particular algae that's normally only found in the Gulf. Can it move into the Atlantic? And the answer is yes, but it needs a lot of help. So again, red tide blooms mainly sitting out here off the west coast of Florida. However, sometimes the tide will lift away from the coastline and they can get caught in the loop current. If that happens, the loop current pushes it south into the Florida Keys where the Gulf Stream will then sometimes pick up the red tide and move it through portions of South Florida. In fact, a couple years ago, Miami, West Palm, and Fort Lauderdale reported uh, concentrations of red tide along their beaches. And yes, while the actual Gulf Stream sits well away from the Jacksonville area, if an onshore wind develops, sometimes pieces of that can push its way into parts, especially Duval, St. John's, and Flagler County. Chief Meteorologist John Gahn remembers a nor'easter that developed out here that actually pushed the red tide right back towards the Jacksonville area uh, several years ago. So it can happen here. However, it is very unlikely. This is mainly a golf issue, and it looks like the red tide is going to be a big golf issue as we head into the month of March. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd for Channel 4, The Local Station.